been denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we're usually starting a game where something bad has happened and we have to fix it. It's not exception this time. To get out of the prison, we could do many things. We could, for example, get out of these shackles because we know how to do it already, but it wouldn't be wise. Marek can tell you why. Marek, microphone. Three. <laughs> Is it on? Okay, it's on. Okay, so it wouldn't be wise to um, set us free right now because uh, the guards would probably enter the cell with their weapons. So we will try to provoke those guys and see what's going to happen next, right? Guard! Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. You got the wrong guy. Really? Holy shit, boys, open the cell! We've got an innocent man in here! <laughs> Hope you're that funny during the execution tomorrow. How long are you going to keep me in here? Can't wait to see the hangman, eh? Don't worry, tomorrow's your big day. I can't wait to see him skinned alive. I'm not the murderer. Wetnecking's not my style. That story won't get you anywhere. He caught you red-handed. Untrue. No one saw me do it. But they'll show up in droves tomorrow to see your flesh burn in the grip of red-hot pincers. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. All right, so the important thing is we made it. These guys are coming here without their weapons. And what you're gonna see right now is how fist fighting looks in Rip The Witcher 2. Out. The thing is, in The Witcher 2 you don't always have to kill your opponents. Exactly, you can choose to fist fight your opponents so you can knock them out without killing them. And that's the way the fist fight looks in The Witcher 2. It's much more spectacular and dynamic than the one we had in The Witcher 1. And it's not as easy as it looks. All right, we should finish this guy. Okay, so we made it out of the prison cell, but the thing is, it's just the beginning of the main quest, which is getting out of the prison itself. For a start, of course, we can leave the cell, and it turns out that the guards were stupid enough to leave our sword in here. Yeah. Okay, right here we can see our new inventory panel. It's still under development, of course, the graphics can change, but you can see the basic um, idea behind it. We have many different slots for different um, objects, body armors, you know, gloves, um, yeah, everything that they're showing right now. Of course, you can also customize the, the things you find in the world, so your armor, your weapons and stuff. They're all statistics based and there are rare items, unique items, a lot of yep. stuff. Okay, and guys, this is where non-linearity comes into play because we have prepared a presentation for you where we use two computers. There are two developers behind the stage and they're using dual computers. One of them will be doing the sneaky, the quiet approach through the game while the second one is not so subtle. He's butchering through the location. Okay, now having some fun with the sword you can see right now. Um, what they actually did is they applied a rune, magical rune to the sword. So the upgrade, yeah. yeah. It's, the sword is upgraded, you can see the visual effect on it right away, after you do the upgrade. Alright, once again, uh, this was Yashik playing, as far as I remember, and he took out the guards. Now we will switch into another computer. This is going to be Konrad's computer, who's going to be walking through this location with a sneaky approach. So he's going to sneak behind the corners, he's going to put out torches, attracting less attention, and try not to kill any of the guards. Let's see if it's possible what was that? to get out of this prison without killing any of the guards. Of course, you don't have to sneak while you play the game. It's like a gameplay option for you. You can choose... Yeah. Ninja style. <laughs> you can choose to knock out the enemies without killing them, get out of the prison um, in a stealth manner. The cat potion was already available in The Witcher 1. The difference between... Whoa. The difference between The Witcher 1 and The Witcher 2 is that it not only allows you to see in the... <coughs> see in the darkness. But, but it can it also, also <laughs> allows you to see through walls. There we go. And we're going to have to time this guy 
to make a really quiet and really good approach ninja style but you're gonna have to wait until he starts walking away and there get behind him they've done it thousands times they're gonna do it good, good right <laughs> Okay, next one down. Once again, you don't have to sneak. And you will see in a moment that actually if you don't, it's also playable. The thing is, if you choose the more difficult option, sneaking in this case, it gives you more experience. So it's definitely worth trying. We should put out the potion. It gets creepy after some yeah. time, I guess. The cat potion. And we will be able to move on from here. White girl. That's one of the potions we had already in The Witcher 1. It just like um, takes the effect of other potions. Reduces the toxicity. Stay calm, Marion. What are you doing here? Some other time. For now, we have to get out of your castle. Any idea how to do that? Of course. Lead the way. You've spared my life. The Lavalettes always pay their debts, especially ones of honor. Do you know my mother's fate? Foltest did her no harm. Foltest ordered his men not to harm her. He's done enough by stripping her honor and treating her like a serving woman to sire his bastards. Time to think about saving your life. To me, honor is more important than life. Yeah, it's time to switch to another computer, I guess. There we go. <laughs> now we're back to Yashik. What I want to show you is that... Uh, hope it won't crash, that Yashik will not be sneaking through this location. He's going to complete the same quest, but in a different way. It's just another level of non-linearity. One is connected with the story choices, with whom you meet, how you act, and okay. the second one... We have is to what change the sound, right? Oh, yeah, the the, we have to switch the sound as well. There we go. Won't sneak by me. Man down! <laughs> We've got it a fugitive, lads! <laughs> and also... Yashik will be choosing another way. We won't go left this time, but go right. What was that? Prisoner out of his cell! <coughs> He's armed! <coughs> of course, Yashik has what we call a developer sword, which means he won't have to be bothered with these opponents. Exactly. We're still working on an in-game balance. That's why it's uh, kind of easy for him to get through the guards. Okay, that's also one of the new features in Witcher 2, the use of your medallion. <coughs> it allows you to highlight those different interesting objects in the game's world, right? Right here you, can, <coughs> you could highlight those water pools because if you step into them, you're kind of loud and you're making noise, of course, so you can attract the guards. It's just one of the usage, it, usages. It will be contextual in a game. There we go. What's important, because uh, Yashik went right way, he, uh, he explored different part of the location and he found a key. As for any key, there's always a door that this key unlocks and it's gonna be no different in, in, in this case. We're gonna descend into the basement of the prison. Yeah. What you can see right here is like exploring the world in many different dim dimensions. That's also one of the changes if you compare Witcher 2 to Witcher 1, right? Right now, you can jump through different obstacles, jump up and down, you know, climb different stuff. That's a brand new and really cool feature. And here's also a place where uh, storyline choices come into play. We have met previously a guy named Aryan, but this playthrough that Yashik is taking right now, Aryan is dead because he killed him previously. And we don't meet Aryan in this playthrough, we meet his mother instead. She's being tortured instead of Aryan by a pervert torture. All right, all right, she's been stressed out of her dignity, Unless dressed, stripped, whatever. Let's go, let's save this woman, let's be gentle. This first one will be easy, the scribe, but the second one, uh, the executioner, is a strong opponent. So it's probably a good idea to block his strikes and then attack him with a counter strike. The combat system is also much more dynamic than the one we had in Witcher 1 but it's still skill-based, and it's very, very um, addictive. 
All right, nice. Uh, let's save the woman. She probably wants to dress up. I am grateful to you for freeing me, but now allow me to cover myself. I mean, Geralt would probably put on a shirt himself, I'm just saying. Hey, my manacles. Just yesterday, you scaled the walls of my castle. Today, you creep through its dungeon to save my life. How did you come here? I heard you talking to the hangman and thought you could use my help. It's actually a good chance to have a good look at New Geralt's face. It's way more detailed than it used to be. Will you tell me how my son died? But not only, of course, the characters, but also the game's world is much more um, attractive visually, right? He fought Level designer the speaking. End, like the knight he was. Thank you. Forgive me, my lady, but guards may arrive at any moment. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Okay, so we want to go, and there's going to be more politics because uh, someone will be walking in. What's important? In a moment, we will see more consequences Jeez, of our actions. Creature. They never miss. They're the elite of the Nilfgaardian army. You're kidding. Right? Show dancers. There are only two of them. Holding two of the best crossbows in the world. Who are you? Forgive me, my lady. Shilad Fitz Estevan, emissary of the Empire of Nilfgaard and its most divine ruler, the Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Arian warned me that Foltest was colluding with you. A political dispute we should leave for later, my lady. I have come to assist you in rejoining your children. At what price? <laughs> you wrong me with this question, my lady. Silence. There we go. You will also Important moment, you. because we saved this woman, we helped her. She, in return, offers us hel her help. What help will it be? Um, she will help us get out of the prison. Can't help thinking you'd help me grudgingly, Ambassador. Your impudence We're really close to completing the quest the way we wanted to, not killing any of the guards. If we get help from these NPCs, it will be particularly easy. Why practically caught you red-handed? Enough. Cease your bickering at once. I owe the Witcher a debt of honor, and we Lavalettes invariably satisfy those. Regardless of who that does or does not suit. Highly noble, my lady, but it is the Empire's interests I must safeguard. On the other hand, the Witcher has in the past done us favors and could yet do so again. I shall help him flee the castle. And you, my lady, I invite to join me in my chambers afterwards. This you stay with them. You come with me. Witcher. Count no more than 20 heartbeats, then follow us into the courtyard. I have paid my debt to you, but do not assume I shall ever forgive you your deed. I don't expect you to forgive me, and I never claimed a debt. Had you claimed it, I could not have assisted you. Yeah, she always has to have the last word, right? This is yeah. what women do. Okay, we're really close to exiting this prison, but what's important, you will see that the last stage of completing this quest will be slightly...